Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Today um, I'm doing client work and I have to learn something new, so that's exciting. Uh, last week I created a landing page for an app service uh, that I really like and I hope I can share it with you soon. But anyway, we've decided that we want to improve the page to add kind of animated GIF that shows the interaction uh, within the app. Now, basically, I know that I can, you know, mock up the animation in uh, After Effects and export it as a movie and convert it to GIF or try to embed the movie, but I'm sure there is a better way. So I'm going to try and learn how to do it better, quicker, create better GIFs. I'm going to share the learning process uh, and what I find out with you. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But before I start that, I have two things I want to tell you about. All right, the first thing is that two days ago, I've uploaded a video showing my editing process and I've used copyrighted music. Uh, now, in the video, I show how I use, you know, legally free uh, songs on SoundCloud. But on that particular day, I went to an Italian restaurant and heard this awesome Italian song from the 90s and I really wanted to use it and I, I thought it's not going to be a problem but apparently uh, YouTube blocked it on some countries or it doesn't allow you to watch the video on mobile so that really feels I'm, I'm really bummed out about it but I don't have time to you know re-edit the video with different sound and also I think that you know the music is so important to me in these vlogs so Sometimes I'm gonna use copyrighted music and you're gonna see ads and you know the, the owners of the musicians are gonna get paid uh, or the labels are gonna get paid because I use copyrighted music but I think it, it you know adds so much to the vlog that I just want to do that so if you don't get to see some of the videos because it's blocked or you can't see it on the mobile I'm sorry but I still want to keep the vlog quality up so I'm gonna use awesome music that's the first thing Second thing I wanted to tell you about is that yesterday at the new school meeting we have decided that uh, Prospero is ready for beta and I've just emailed a bunch of beta testers, Lior my partner emailed another bunch and we're gonna start doing the beta testing in the upcoming days. Uh, that's super exciting. If you've been following along then you know that we've kind of postponed the beta twice. We wanted to do it last week and kind of have disagreements within the team whether it's ready or not ready. So. It's actually been a struggle, you know, developing new products is hard, working in a team is hard, but I think we have a really good team at the new school and we kind of work, you know, an agreement and now everything is cool. So um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. I think we're going to create something really special. Um, so I'll share that with you and be sure to check out upcoming vlogs to see how that product development is being progressed. Anyway, now it's time for me to go learn how to create awesome GIFs. Alright, so I've successfully created a simple uh, GIF to showcase app interaction and it's very simple but it shows what's happening animatedly inside the app. Um, weirdly enough, I couldn't find any tool that really does it simply but I have found uh, an article on the Envision uh, blog that kind of shows the process of how they recommend doing it and let me show you the process so I ended up using Keynote again and it's very simple you kind of just add two frames um, and you move the object that you want to animate and then you do a magic move which kind of animates between them so let me preview uh, it just moves the object and then from Keynote you can uh, export it as a uh, QuickTime video then you bring the um, the video into Photoshop you do import uh, video frames to layers it kind of create this uh, layer animation 
when, and then you simply crop it and animate it and export it as a GIF. So it's not properly a tutorial, but I'll link to the InVision article if you want to read it. It's not very difficult, but then again, I don't think it's the best way to do that. I'm sure very soon we're going to have just a simple uh, tool. For example, I usually work to animate uh, apps with Atomic which I, I like the tool, but it doesn't have any option to export it as a GIF. So uh, just kind of have to work around, I guess, but it does what, what I want. And I'm gonna now create the app for my client, the GIF for my client, and we can use it in the landing page. And actually also, I'm, I think I'm gonna use animated GIF in an email that we're going to send. So that's pretty cool, uh, using GIFs in, image, in uh, emails. I think it's uh, pretty cool, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, animated GIFs project is done. Uh, it did take me much longer than the you know silly uh, animation I did uh, when I just tried it. And what's worse is that if I have to make even a small change now, like a text change, I would have to recreate the whole thing. So kind of like I feel that there's a big product opportunity there to make like creating GIF much more simpler. Uh, that's it for this. And now I'll go have lunch with my family. So it's already afternoon. I've been working most day for client work, which unfortunately I can't share. But here's what I do want to share with you. This week my client called me, he's now in the US doing some business stuff, and he told me, Ron, we're at a very important stage of the company and uh, you're only working with us two days a week and I really need uh, help with you because there's so much stuff going on. And I told him, dude, don't worry, whatever you need, I'm here for you. And I heard in his voice how relaxed he was that I told him, don't worry, you have somebody that you can trust. And it really made me, you know, remember again that a lot of times we feel that our clients pay for our, you know, our design job. But actually what they, you know, what they really pay us for is that we make them feel safe, that everything is going to be all right and the project is going to happen and the work is going to be, you know, completed and it's going to be good and great. And especially if you're getting paid a lot of money, well, you're not only <laughs> paid to execute on the design work, you're also being paid to make the client relaxed and feel that there is somebody that they can trust. So don't, you know, think about that the next time that you're with your client, don't only sell your technical skills and stuff like that, sell them the confidence that everything's going to be fine and they're in good hands. Anyway, have a great day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.